wine making has been around for thousands of years, and wine is an alcoholic beverage made with the fermented juice of grape. Technically, wine can be made with any fruit, but if it just says wine on the label, then it's made with just grapes. Having a basic understanding of wine and wine tasting can impress a date or a prospective uh, client or employer. People use wine and wine tasting for everything from a hobby to a profession to an investment. Today, I'm going to brief cover the basis of wine and wine tasting. This is just a general overview, and I will cover the different type of wine, some factors affecting taste, and preparation for wine taste. First of all, all wines can be organized into five fundamental groups, red, white, rose, sparkling, fortified wines. Red wine made with blue or purple grapes and tends to carry most tannin. White wine is focused to acidity and produced from green grapes. Rose typically made from red and of uh, red wine grapes with just a short exposure of grape skin to the first grape juice. Sparkling wine is a popular type of wine for their bubbly, made from red and white grape. Fortified wine is also known as the dessert wine that is made from a still wine that has added additional alcohol to it. Secondary of wines taste influenced by three main factors, uh, types of grapes, making process, and flavor element. Wine grapes are different than table grapes. They are smaller, sweeter, and have a lot of seed. And the grapes is the scale to measure percentage of sugar in liquid. The standard eating grapes having grapes level of 17 to 19, whereas wine grapes are closer to 24 to 26 grapes at harvest. In its basic form, wine making is a natural process that requires very little human in intervention. There are five steps to making wines. Pick the wines, crush the, uh, pick the grapes, crush the grapes, fermentation, Age the bottle and bo age the wine and bottle the wine. Depending on the grape, the region, and the kind of wine that a winemaker wish to produce, the exact step in the harvesting process will vary in time, technique, and technology. They make each wine unique and eventually contribute to greatness of any particular wine. There are several phases that explain wine's unique flavor. Wine as a beverage lies on the city, ends of pH scale ranging from as low as 2.5 to as high as 4.5. Sweetness in wine range from no sugar at all to sugar a sweet like maple syrup. Wine's average range of alcohol is about 10 to 15 percent. Also, tannin is found in red wines. If you want to know how tannin tastes, put a wet black tea bag on the tongue for a great example for how the tannin tastes. Uh, each grape's variety exhibits aroma compounds at different levels. This is why some wines taste like berries and others smell like flowers. Before tasting a wine, some preparation should be made, which can influence how the wine will taste. The goal of having the right wine serving temperature is to release the best possible aromatic in the glass without ruining the taste. Sparkling wine should be served ice cold, around 40 Fahrenheit degrees, 
the best temperature for white and rose wine is served around 45 to 60, oh, 45 to 55 Fahrenheit degrees. And the best temperature for red wine is served at 55 to 70 Fahrenheit degrees. If you are trying to taste your wine, then certain glass to work better than others. There are actually some science back this statement of using the right glass improve the taste of wine. In 2015, a Japanese maker group used a special camera to record image of ethanol vapors in different glasses. In their study, the research group showed different glass shapes affect the density and position of vapor at the opening different glasses. So why do vapors matter? Well, they carry aromatic compounds into your nose. Aromatic compounds are responsible for producing the vast majority of flavor in, in the wine. <coughs> a great food and wine pairing create a balance between the components of dish and the characteristic of wine. As much as pairing wine is complex, as, as the picture is a little bit complex, there are simple tips for pairing for wine and food. The wine should be more acidic and more sweeter than food. The wine should have same flavor intensity as the food. The red wine pair best with red meat. White wine pair best with fish or chicken. Bitter wines are better balanced with fat. In conclusion, wine is seemingly simple beverage that becomes more complex the more you study it. I hope I have explained some of basic of wine and wine tasting and given everybody some idea on benefit of learning about wine. Whether you use it for entertaining as social event or just to accompany a meal, learning wine can be enjoyable and beneficial. So Matthew, are you here? Of course not. That would just be too easy. All right, uh, I'll tell you what I thought then. Um, the attention device is okay. I do think that you need something a little bit more than the history to intrigue us, but the background information is a good starting point. It's, it's perfectly fine. We know what your topic is immediately. That's a good thing. Uh, you have a good statement for your proposition, except it does sound like it's two parts. Uh, instead of a single issue that you're talking about, it's almost a preview. Um, there's a, a reasonable justification for talking about wine uh, in the different ways in which people utilize wine, although some of those things never get discussed in the presentation because you're really focusing on some other basics. <coughs> Excuse me. I did think that there was a very good preview of what you were going to be covering in the presentation. That part was fall solid. Um, there's a good definition of ideas and concepts early on on the different types of wines and distinguishing uh, <coughs> excuse me, table grapes from <coughs> this sounds worse than it is really <coughs> excuse me <coughs> all right and then um I didn't really hear any supporting material being cited in the presentation. I'm sure that you did research on this. I just don't hear uh, the sources being cited during the presentation. Some of the explanations are relatively clear. I do sometimes think that uh, 
it gets a little overwhelming. I, I have no idea why I should care about tannins. Uh, you mention them and you talk about them and you kind of explain how to notice the taste. I'm going, well, why does it matter? Why, why is that a thing? Is it something that we should care about? And it, you know, so it, it feels a little bit about context. Organizationally, I, it got a little problematic because every section has multiple organiz organizing parts. So you've got, you know, the three or four things that you're going to be talking about at the beginning of the speech, and then you get to the first one. There are five types of uh, wines, and then we get to something else, and there are uh, five parts of the process, and then there are uh, three considerations on the flavor, and then there are three different or a dozen different kinds of wine glasses. So it, it does feel a little bit like we're getting an overwhelming amount of information at times and it would maybe be a little bit more uh, productive to edit this and decide to narrow the focus of your speech a bit. Um, I thought the visuals were excellent. They were integrated in the speech pretty well. Uh, the last one was a little complicated, the one with all of the um, pairings of the wines. I think you recognize that yourself. It's a little hard to uh, see all of the relationships that are going on there and uh, there might be a way to simplify that a little bit since, since you simplify it in your description it seems like you ought to be able to simplify it in the visual as well I, I thought you did a good job trying to speak to the audience for the most part even though you do have a script or notes that you're looking at uh, pretty regularly you do talk to us for the most part I thought there was an excellent summary at the end of the speech but you kind of spoil it a little bit with that tagline that's it we don't need that period at the end of the sentence stated that way all right, thank you.